Hi guys, it's me Joy and today I will be doing a video on stencils and this is in collaboration with my really good friend Nadine and her YouTube channel is Nadine's Mix Plate. I will link her channel down below. She's an amazing YouTuber. She is so funny and she has so many good ideas. And if, if you're not already following her, you should because she's awesome. So Nadine did a video on her traveler's notebook. She used this stencil by Hobonichi and she actually gave me mine like I don't remember maybe two years ago and ever since then I've used this almost every single time I use my planner. It's amazing. One of her subscribers tagged her in this photo. She took her idea of using the Hobonichi stencil and instead made her own stencil by just taking like a plastic piece and punching a hole in it to make like the dots. Her name is Paper Happy Miss and I will link her Instagram down below. She inspired us to make our own stencils as well using punches. And it's really easy. I will show you how I made these in a second. Alright, let's get started. First here are the ingredients. You need of course, punches, and here's a bunch of variety of different kinds of punches. I also used the Nina 80 pound cardstock card because um, the punches that I had in this selection didn't punch the plastic too well, so I decided I'm just gonna make a stencil out of cardstock instead because I really, really wanted these shapes so. I figured it's okay, I can always punch again if I ever like tear the paper or whatever. So what you want to do is you just want to punch along this section until you reach the end. And I have like a bunch of variety, a flag and a circle and a balloon and a, a bear head because I love bears. And you want to cut the excess paper off the edge. And you can just use that paper for something else. There's like a little space at the top, so I decided to punch this border punch from Fiskars. Just so that I can fill that space and not waste space. So there you have it, and that was easy. On to the next one. Moving on. Here are the ingredients. You need your laminator, of course. Mine is the Scotch brand and you will need the thermal laminating pouches to go with it. Also Scotch brand. And a punch. This one is the quote bubble or speech bubble from American Crafts. And lastly, you'll need your cutter. And you want to plug in your laminator, of course, <laughs> and turn it on and wait till the blue light turns on it or whatever your ready light and once it's turned on that means it's ready to go it's all heated up and ready to take your pouches so <laughs> I like to um, insert the pouches with the sealed side in and you feed it through the feeding area <laughs> whatever it's called and wait till it comes through and wait till it heats up and gets all plasticky and ta-da! It's all plasticky now! So once you have that, I'm gonna put my laminator to the side so I'm gonna use it again later. I'm taking this Fiskars punch and it's a tab I believe and I'm gonna just punch it through and look it, it works great. You don't want the plastic to be too thick otherwise you know your punches will not go through and it sucks. So once you punch all the punches that you would like to punch, <laughs> you're gonna like cut the excess again, just like the cardstock one. And if there's extra spaces on the top, feel free to punch more shapes. I'm gonna run it through one more time through the laminator to get rid of any bubbles and Bye bye laminator, you're good. Okay, so for this next one, we will be using the Big Shot. We're gonna use some die cuts this time. And these are just random ones from Lawn Fawn and I don't remember, I think American Crafts. And I figured, you know, we might as well use this extra piece of plastic somehow. 
So what I did was basically washi tape all these shapes on there and I kind of wish I spread them out because they're kind of hard to trace if there's very little plastic in between them but we'll, we'll just do it again next time. We're gonna make our sandwich with our platform thingy majiggy and we're gonna run it through the big shot and it's really easy. I'm gonna run it in twice just in case. I should have run it a third time because as you can see it didn't make it on the side but that's okay because we got another stencil, another technique. Okay so that was one type of stencils that you can use is your homemade stencil. I got this one also from Nadine. Uh, this one is pretty cool because it has like the alphabet and whatnot. I don't remember where she got this. I think some on Etsy probably. I don't remember. But it also has like these edges and these edges and all these different kinds of shapes. So this one is pretty cool. This one I took apart but it actually like hooks together. And I think I got this either from... Daiso or Kinokuniya. I think you can get them at both, but Daiso is cheaper because it's only $1.50 and it has like the alphabet up here and more shapes down here. Uh, accessible stencils. You can just go to like Michael's or your favorite art store, um, anywhere that sells like architecture items, and you can just get all of these different kinds. Like this one is just circles. And this one is my favorite and it has like a whole bunch of shapes. That's why I like it the best. And lastly, my favorite stencil of all time is this Hobonichi one. Hobonichi makes four kinds and I love it because it has grids. Um, I'm not sure if you can see but it has like grids in them so that when you line them up with your Hobonichi, it's like perfect fit. And lastly, another... It's not really a stencil but I like using washi rolls also to help me. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the most versatile shape ever and that is a square. Here's an old week in my Hobonichi and this week looks pretty bare because I decided to try a different kind of method. So I'm just gonna use this to show you a test. So I'm gonna take that square stencil that I made. We're gonna line it up and we're just gonna trace the square. Just holding down the corners. Ta-da! A square! So after you draw your square, you can add like a pushpin on the top and make like a curly page on the bottom. These squares are great to show emphasis on like appointment or urgency. You could use washi tape and you could also put like a little bowl with like dots to make it all cute. And you could put like different kinds of lists. The next one I'm going to do is this one with a balloon and you could put that for people's birthdays probably like I'm putting it for my mom's birthday. A uh, flag to mark like important road trips or vacation. Alright so let us make some amazing shapes for your planner. We just need the stencils that you created or bought depending on what you want to make. Right now, I'm just making a bunch of boxes or squares using the stencil I made and the recollections punch. The first one I am going to make is just a dotted border kind of box or square. <laughs> and you know, it's great for your Erin Condren or whatever if you just want to mix up your text and stickers and whatnot. And it's easy, you just make dash lines in your stencil. The next one is the line border frame and it's easy you just make another square within the square and if you have like a square stencil it should have like a nesting kind of effect where there's many squares and all you have to do is just make hash lines and I call it the line border frame. Next is the dotted line border and you can put it on the top or the sides doesn't matter, it creates a lot of interest and it's super cute, so why not? Next, we're gonna make a cute little paper clip and you can make like any shape, I guess, paper clip that you want. And just add like a little shadow on the bottom. Right now, I'm making a frame using diagonal lines on the corners and then connecting those diagonal lines. And in this next one, I'm going to make another picture frame. 
but this time I'm going to hang it and I want the frame to look older so I'm gonna add like squiggly ugly lines <laughs> and it should make it look old and shabby chic then we're gonna put like a dot and then just draw lines connecting to the frame and ta-da! it's a hanging frame which is awesome and cute this one doesn't look like much it looks like i'm just scribble scrabbling but i swear there's a purpose and then we're just gonna put like these dots on the bottom to make it look like a spirally notebook and you could put it on the side too the next one is just a very simple scalloped edge you can make it look like a, a postage stamp if you want to but i think it's super cute scalloped edges the next one i'm gonna put a rectangle around the square and as you can see the shape that's taking form is a polaroid and i just put like a heart on the corner to make it cute and the next one i was running out of ideas and i was late so i just made more dotted borders but this is a full dotted border guys a full one not just a dotted line border the next one it was, looks like it's just gonna be like regular border but then i thought oh it looks like a white frame around a picture so i put photo corners on there and it's really easy you just uh you know those photo corners that in olden time scrapbooking those olden time scrapbookers use these photo corners the next one is easy you just make a rectangle and a circle and some lines and you have yourself a binder clip and then the next one is a clipboard which is also another rectangle with a circle a half circle that is and ta-da a clipboard all right let's move on to this big gigantic square from recollections and what i'm doing is writing by but you could write any other kind of word there like to do or to go or whatever and then you can just like fill it in and make it all pretty if you want and <laughs> just wrote toilet paper because it's just funny i have to buy toilet paper Next, I'm gonna use the mason jar. And this is like a really good size. I think it could fit in the Happy Planner. I'm not sure exactly, but this is from the EK Success Punch that I got from Joann's a long time ago. And in this one, I'm just gonna write my fall bucket list. And I just, you know, put like lines on the top for the lid. And I just wrote in pumpkins, eat, it all because I love pumpkin stuff next I'm gonna use this quote and the cool thing about this quote one is that oh and I'm drawing a bear I forgot I drew a panda <laughs> um, I just drew a panda and then I wrote hi but you can flip the the stencil over and then you could inverse the quote bubble like if you want it to come in from a different direction so that's pretty neat to bury with that Next, I'm going to use this EK Success Punch tag punch. <laughs> and it's really simple. Just trace it in, of course. And if you have circle punches, you could take a smaller one and a bigger one and then make that little, like, I don't know what they're called, but th th you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this one, I am, as you can see, I'm trying to measure. I'm going to leave a gap in between because i want to create an illusion of like a perforated kind of ticket so i'm trying to imitate like tickets that you get when you fly and you could use this to like write down your flight info your flight number and departure times and arrival times and the date uh, i think it's just a really cute way to decorate this one i'm just using a regular gigantic banner punch from hobby lobby and you can write like a party and you know the time and the place there's also circles and you could do the same things with the squares but here i'm making like a wreath you know when you go to like a film festival and they have those wreath thingy majiggies and you could use it to make like a date night kind of thing and i'm also using a washi roll and i'm going to make like a a banner and <laughs> i was like is it a penance banner is that how to spell penance i don't know 
And then here I'm making like a regular banner that you can just write to do or whatever you want to title your journal entries with. Here I'm making a label with the label punch and you know you could just use that as like your title entry for your journaling or there's so many different things you can do. Okay, so I showed you a bunch of ways you could use these stencils just by making the shapes. But now I'll show you how to jazz them up a little. Like if you want to go the extra mile kind of thing. So I have two brush pens here and you could use like any kind of like light highlighter or um, something not too bright. And right here I have a clean color in the color English Lavender and it's just like a really pastel light marker. And this one is just a Kuretake um, brush pen and it's in the color gray. And to give your like little stencil things some interest, you could add like shadows to them. For example, for this one right here, it doesn't have a shadow but you could just like add a shadow yourself. Just pretend the sun is coming this way and then you could add a shadow. Super simple and if you see like there's nothing I really did. I just added some gray and it pops out. Make some stripes. Okay so let us make our old drawings better by adding shadows underneath to give it just a little bit of dimension. You could make stripes and different kinds of patterns. Stripes is the easiest. Polka dots are kind of hard and I'm just using like markers but you could use anything you know like pens and pencils and like for this mason jar I'm just putting a shadow and for this box I'm just adding a shadow here I'm adding diagonal lines there's just so many things you can do just by adding shadows just giving it like pops and it just gives your drawings and doodles more interest and hearts too <laughs> okay, now that I've shown you like decorative elements of stencils, I'll show you some practical ways I've used them. This is the monthly section of my Hobonichi Cousin and I don't use this to mark any events or anything but I do use it for financial like spending. So for example, here is my month of August so far. I write down on the day um, where I spent money and how much I spent. It's not to track my balance or anything. It's more of a visual kind of view of what I spent my money on. Like if I look at this, I see a lot of pink. And pink means miscellaneous. So miscellaneous could mean entertainment, like going to the movies, going to some kind of concert, like things that aren't related to my hobby. Like I bought clothes, I bought makeup, those kind of things. Like that's a whole miscellaneous. So if there's a lot of pink, that means I did way too much extra spending somewhere. And I just used this pen, which is my multi-pen, and it is the style, Uni Style Fit. And it has five colors. There's pink, and pink I use to track miscellaneous. There's orange, which I use to track food, green, bills, blue, I track like household things. And then purple is hobbies, so like crafting supplies and stationary stuff and things related to YouTube kind of thing. So I'm gonna show you what I spent on August 4th. I spent $293 to LADWP, which is a bill, so it's green. Um, $319.25 for State Farm, which is another bill, so that's green. Target, I spent $300 for house things, and it's blue. And then Vons, I spent $139.91, and Vons is a grocery store, so it's orange. So that's basically how I use it for practical use. And I just use this stencil which is the Hobonichi stencil and I'll use these squares. I also like to use these squares for checklists. I don't really stamp checklists anymore. I just trace them with the stencil because it's just easier. But I really like the system. I've been doing it for, I don't even know, I think since I started the Hobonichi. Here's my old Hobonichi. And as you can see, the months, I 
have done it for I don't even know how long. It goes back all the way to the beginning of this year. So I have been using this system for quite a while and it really helps me say, Hey Joy, you're spending too much on craft supplies. I see a lot of purple. So, you know, it's really great for that because it like keeps me in check. And ever since I've been doing this, I haven't been seeing purple a lot because I'm like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Too much purple. So it really helps. Thumbs up skis for that. I'll also show you how I use it at work. This is my planner at work and it is a smaller Hobonichi. It is the size A6. And compared to the A5, this is how tiny it is. It's so cute. But it's a perfect size for work. So when I come in to work, I look at my emails, see what I need to get done, and look at my meetings, and try to manage my time very specifically. This is typical days, and you might not understand what I wrote, but I'm going to show it to you anyway, and how I use the stencil. So after I look through my emails, I write down everything I absolutely need to do that day, and it has to get done, or I can't go home, or I have to work from home. And if it's like halfway through the page, that's a lot for me. So as you can see, there's like an envelope, a little bowl, envelopes, and these locks. And they're really easy to make. For me, the envelope means I either gotta follow up, I gotta email somebody, or I gotta answer an email. And then the lock means I have to authorize something and it's secure. So it's really easy. Create your own little icons just using this stencil. For me, it's always the envelope. So all I do is trace the square. Trace the square and all I do is doot. There's my envelope, <laughs> super easy. And then for the lock, I make another square, and then I draw a line, and then a little thing, and then a little hole. And there's my lock, which means secure. But those are just other practical ways that I use a stencil. I do not really decorate it, it's just motivational. You see this little girl, it says, it's like this really exhausted girl. And she's just like, oh, come on. And I put, Friday, we made it. Or this one is another happy girl because it's like, one more day till Friday. So Hobonichi is grid. I don't even need check boxes. I just check, you know, the grid. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And please make sure to check out Nadine's video. She also ha is doing a stencil video, like a planner hack DIY stencil. And she has great ideas. A lot of my ideas come from her or I'm very inspired by her ideas. So please make sure to go check her out. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I gave you some ideas. And if you have any ideas, please let me know down below regarding stencils because they're my favorite. So I hope you have a good day. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.